Ipsos polling exclusively for Global News shows the top two priorities for Canadians are immediate health measures to fight the pandemic at 33% and getting Canadians back to work at 26%. Rounding out the top five, 18% want to see the budget deficit reduced, 17% want to see a tax reduction, and 17% want to see a long-term universal basic income created. At least one in ten Canadians wants to focus on supporting small businesses at risk of closing due to the pandemic at 14%. 13% want the government to provide emergency relief for those who've lost their jobs. 12% want to see immigration tightened and 10% support a green economic recovery. Fewer Canadians overall prioritized issues of race, inclusion and equality at 7%, enhancing education also at 7%. 6% want to see infrastructure spending to create jobs. Well, the biggest priority item for Canadians, they tell us, is uh, uh, support for healthcare initiatives to fight COVID. And then after that, it's pretty much dominated by uh, anything to do with the economy. That includes, most importantly, creating jobs and helping Canadians with jobs, but they're also concerned about taxes and the deficit. Well, when you look at the top of the list, uh, the, the priorities among support for all of the, the supporters of all of the major parties are, are fairly similar. It's when you get a little further down that you really start to see the differences emerge. So, for example, for uh, conservative voters, but also people voting for the Bloc Québécois, there seems to be more of a focus on things like taxes and the deficit. They're also obviously very concerned about getting people back to work, but supporters of every party are. But when you move over to the progressive side of the agenda and you start looking at, for example, uh, NDP and liberal voters, and but also green voters, there's more concern about things like, for example, green issues, anything to do with the environment, accompanied by anything that has to do with uh, racial inequality and equity in Canada. So you start to see that there's a bit of ideological difference uh, depending on which party you support. Well, one part of the equation people absolutely understand, and it's the idea of the deficit. For them, they know that's taking in fewer taxes or taking in less revenue than the amount of money that's going out, which creates a deficit. A universal basic income, or UBI, or guaranteed annual income, as some people call it, is something that uh, uh, is, is really not understood by Canadians. It's a, it's a concept that really has to be explained. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, based on the, uh, the polling that I've been seeing, fairly muddy waters right now. So uh, doing something about the deficit, people kind of get, uh, whether it's the right time or not is another question. But this issue of a guaranteed annual income sounds interesting to people, but they, it gets murky when you start getting below the surface. It's, it's a difficult circumstance because um, uh, all three parties uh, probably have aspects of what we've just gone through on the list that are greater priorities for their, for their partisans. And if you're a government that's trying to stay uh, alive in the sense of being in a minority uh, and not wanting to face an election, you're going to have to probably find something that fits under those priorities that uh, directly appeals to the supporters of other parties. Uh, the most likely uh, candidate here is, is, is going to be the NDP. I know the, the leader of the NDP has been saying that he's not gonna, it's not going to be an easy uh, negotiation for him and Prime Minister Trudeau, but the truth is there's a lot of alignment between what his supporters think and what people who are voting for the Liberal Party are thinking. So uh, I expect that uh, given only that one party has to vote for the government's throne speech, that the most likely uh, um, uh, partner that they will find is, is the NDP. Uh, on green issues, it's not as though uh, people don't care about the environment or their level of concern isn't as great as it's been. It's just been blocked out by something that's become more urgent. So it's not like people are saying, oh, completely forget about the environment. You know, we don't need to worry about that. It's still there, but there are just other more, emer er, more urgent priorities that, that have emerged. So um, I would expect as, you know, we come out of this coronavirus situation as, um, as uh, you know, jobs begin to stabilize, as the economy begins to grow again, there will be a time again for this, uh, for this conversation about uh, climate change and the, and the future of the environment. But the, the, the point is right now that uh, it's really sunk down, not just in terms of uh, uh, what we're seeing in Canada, but generally around the world. There's less concern about the environment that there was prior to the COVID, uh, to, to, to the COVID crisis.